<laughs> it's Mr. Ed here, and today is April the 4th, 2024, and we just now, as you saw, received our second pallet of 9 and 5 eighths triple coated wax foundation frames from Premier B Supply. I got the first one about three weeks ago, and I'm already half through that one, putting that out all on our on our brood boxes. And the bees are drawing that stuff out beautifully right now. So we got our second one because we didn't I didn't have enough frames to do our honey supers this year. So we got this batch just came in, that one that I'm using already, and then the other part of the load that just came in were 75 other boxes. Now we're gonna go over to the shop right now and I'm gonna show you that because that, that's another special deal. I can tell you, I, I'm, I'm really feeling like I'm under the gun getting all this work done to get these boxes not only built but then have them dipped as well. In fact, that's gonna be the tail part of this video, bringing them over to Brian's and get them done. Now you're gonna have to excuse the noise in here. We're, we're working today. But I do, we, and we brought the boxes inside of the shop because this is where I'm gonna start working on them is inside of my little area in the workshop. You won't see the caskets today, just me in here. So this, is our pallet of boxes. And these are the new Propola pod boxes that Premier is putting out. And these are the ones that they have brews in here, and the idea being that it encourages bees to propolize the interior uh, space of these hives. And this this box right here was is a DAP one. Zero hive wax dip. And this was a special one made for me. They gave this to me at the uh, expo in January. But that is what that entire palette of boxes look like. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to start building boxes. Now here's what those boxes look like before they get waxed on them. Man, it's really, really nice on the interior and the, and the exterior of the box is all smoothed out. I'm gonna cut one of these bands and I'm gonna start putting some boxes together. Now to assemble these boxes <laughs> is the only tool you need because the way these boxes are cut, they're using a dovetail, it's a half blind dovetail joint. And as you can see, there's the dovetail right there and here is the mortise to receive it. And the only way you can put these boxes together is by aligning up 
the little dovetails and sliding them into the corresponding hole and then knock them together. Show you how easy it is. One thing you gotta do is make sure your handles nice about these dovetail joints that box is squared up perfect and if you don't believe me you can take out your measure measuring tape go corner to corner I got 25 and 3 quarter 25 and 3 quarter so squared up perfect now I'm gonna I'm gonna assemble a bunch of these boxes and then staple them together because it, it speeds up the process if I do one thing first and then the second thing and then we'll get them done. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these things done. We're getting ready to go eat lunch and I've done all these behind me already. It's almost it's almost it's 45 of them behind me already and they did it in less than an hour and these things just go together so fast and I've kind of like got a little system on putting them together and they just require so little work to do it. Well, I didn't show you me nailing all of that that wood. There was just so much noise in here today. I figured that I got all of those 45 boxes all nailed already. And look at that. They're loaded on the trailer already. And then I, I put together the other 30 of them. So tomorrow I'm going to show you how I nail those things together. I'm just too wore out to do it. So I'm not going to do any more tonight. So we'll pick this up in the morning. See y'all in the morning. Well, good morning, and it is another day, and we're going to get these boxes right here finished stapling up. So what I'm what I'm going to be doing, I use this big old staple gun right there, and I think probably weighs about eight pounds. And in this gun, this is what I'm this is what I'm shooting. These inch and a half staples, and I get to load up a bunch of them in here and I'm just going to go ahead and start stapling the, the edges of this box. I put five on each side and flip it around and do the other side. And you'll see how fast this goes as well.
there you have it. Stapled on each one of the edges. And that is secure. And no staples going through there. Works really, really good. Got the rest of these boxes right here. About another 30 more boxes to do. Get them all loaded up on the trailer and I'll pick this thing up after I get everything locked down on the trailer. <laughs> I suppose that for most of the viewers out there who have been following along with my videos for a long time that, that you start to see a pattern um, in the way I, I make these videos. And, and that <laughs> very, 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 very often what I say isn't exactly what I do. And this is just another one of those instances. All along the plan was that for the boxes that I just finished building to bring them over to Brian's and have him wax dip them. And that was the plan. We, we were sticking to it. And, and now it's seven days since, since I had those boxes built. And I was waiting, waiting for Brian to let me know when I can come bring him over. And so when he called me up and I'm expecting to bring the boxes over, <laughs> he said, Jeff, I got some really bad news. He says, the, I've got plenty of wax to, to dip the box. That's not the problem. The problem is that I don't have enough rosin uh, to, make the, to make it work. He's got a little bit, but not enough to do my, my hundred or so boxes and his hundred and so. So today, <laughs> I've already, I've already um, been working hard because the trailer was all loaded, ready to go. And <laughs> lo and behold, when he tells me that uh, two days ago, I said, well, I got to do the worst job that there's possibly is to do, and that is, <laughs> I got to, I got to dog on paint boxes. That's like, oh, that's a terrible, terrible thing for me to have to do. And so, this morning I, I unloaded the trailer, got the peacock pin all cleaned up, and we are walking over there together, and I am going to show you what I've got now. Those boxes really did look impressive on the trailer. And with them all stacked up in, on, in the peacock pen, not quite so impressive. Oh, so what was I doing while I was waiting for Brian to let me know the bad news? All right, now look at this. Today is the 12th of April. Now when I first started this video, that was April the 4th, I believe. and. We had just received this pallet, which is 810 frames of, of triple coated deep supers, deep uh, frames. And then we had another one that was stacked right here that we had about another, oh, about 500 on that one. Well, that one is all gone and this one is two thirds gone. I have been all this week running our honey supers on our boxes. It is just incredible the amount of bees and nectar that is flowing right now. And I want to capitalize on that right now for them, one, to draw out the comb, and two, if possible, maybe I can get a, a nectar flow from our privet. And speaking of that, look, let me. we're gonna walk right over to the field right here, and I'm just gonna show you what is going on right now as far as our privet, which is our first primary um, nectar flow. We've had, we've had minor flows with, with our berries, blackberries, blueberries, other, other kind of incidentals, but look at, oh my gosh, it, uh, it is just so pretty. Look at this. Now this is just one of the privet bushes here in the field. And there, you can see our boxes right there. Look at that privet. Look how glorious that is. And then we've got the tallow trees behind that. And look, I'm going to zoom in and look down at the other end of the field. Look at there. More privet down there. And I swing over. And it's, it's just getting ready to open up right there as well. 
right there. There it is. Kind of far from me. So that privet is really blooming. And I wanted to capitalize on this. And you can see here in this field how all of our boxes are doubled up. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of our boxes, I've already got our honey supers on. And this year, for the first time ever, I am running excluders in our, um, underneath our honey boxes because I'm tired of losing my wax by letting the queen get up inside of the honey box and start laying. So I got a hundred excluders from Hillco and I've already gone through 90 of them. Uh, <laughs> that's right, 90 honey supers I've already placed out. Now, this is the part that Charlie doesn't like very much. Um, we, we've got over 200 hives right now. After our splits, uh, we've got over 200 and 150, that's it, that's all I want. So I've got to do something with about at least, at least 50 hives uh, to get back to the numbers that I want. And so I'm, I'm, I'm working on getting rid of them, selling them, and, and <laughs> getting their numbers down. But I want to capitalize on this, honey, because, man, if things just go right, I, I, I have a feeling that with the strength of our bees in, in the highs right now, coupled along with the fact that I've got these honey supers out on, on, on the, the hives already, there is a very, very good chance that I'll be able to get some, I'm not going to say in how much, but I think there's a very good chance I'll be able to get uh, capitalized on a privet flow as well. That, 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 that's, that's be a grace of God, and, and I got my fingers crossed that that'll happen. But that's a different story. So now I'm back at the, at the peacock pen, and let's go inside and I'll show you what I got in here. Now I've been having the seminarians help me the last couple of weeks get this place all cleaned out. And we, with their help, and you'll see that at the end of this video, they cleaned up all of my old honey supers. Uh, and that stack right there, that's the only stack of, of deep supers that I've got left to go. Yeah, I've got these right here, but there are issues with those, so I don't want to put those on, on our honey boxes. So, with that being said, and I've got over 200 hives, and only 90 of them have the third super on it, that leaves me with a lot of more hives, uh, what, 120 at least, uh, of hives that that need another super, that have the potential of having another super on it, which is why all of these boxes are in here. Well, I don't think I can put it off any longer. <laughs> I'm going to get set up, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint all these supers. Let's, let's do this nasty job together. <laughs> and here is my setup. I've got the boxes to put on this little Lazy Susan spinner. So at least I don't have to walk around them. And all I'm doing is I'll be painting the, the handles, inside of the handles, and then rolling using a roller. So <laughs> let's get this job started, huh? I think it's like this It's not like it's not a picture. So I'm going to go. Yeah. You'll get a little bit of that feeling. I'll show you like that. I'll just get it. No, I'm not just paint work. So that is good.
<laughs> Alright. First one done. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna set it down on, on these runners that I've got and move on to the next one. Alright, so I'm gonna check back with you. <laughs> I don't know, after a while. I want to get as many as, as I can done today. I'm not going to do them all, but if I get about 30 of them done today, I'll be happy with that. So we're going to pick this up at the end of the day. Uh. <laughs> well, five and a half hours later and no lunch, three quarters of a gallon of paint, 24 deep Supers coated twice with the paint. My most dreaded bee job in all the beekeeping. <laughs> Painting is done for the day. Oh my goodness. I am so glad this job is over with. Uh, I would have happily paid Brian the money to dip these things for me. I'm just uh, sorry that he couldn't do it because then I had to do this work. So this part of the job is done. At least I got enough boxes to fill out the frames that I've got outside. I still have, I don't know, 60 more boxes still to paint. Uh, so that'll be another two or three days. Or maybe I can sucker somebody, one of them seminarians, to, to come over and help me paint do it. But at least this part is done. And we will get these boxes on our hive sometime next week, um, weather permitting. So that's all I've got for you on this video. But before I close, I got, yep, that's right, I got a list of a bunch of new names that have decided to become members of my channel. And I, I'd appreciate it if you consider to become a member of my channel. Now, it, members of the channel get a couple of little extra benefits. Uh, first, they get their name shouted out, like I'm getting ready to do right here. Uh, the second one is that they get to watch the video that I post on Friday two or three days before everybody else. I'll post it for them early. And then the third perk, I guess you could call it, for becoming a member on the channel is that uh, periodically, once a month, every three weeks, I'll make a members-only video. and. You have to actually be a member to the channel to be able to, to see that video. So how do you become a member? Just hit that little join button um, at, at, in the description of this video. Hit the join button. You can do it. It is a $4.99 a month charge to become a member. And that is a monthly reoccurring uh, charge unless you choose to not be a member anymore. But I truly would appreciate um, if you would consider doing that for me. So here's the, the list of the new members uh, since the last time I made the video. First one is Thomas Hauser. Second, Rachel Stone. Third, Big Dog Ron, AZ. Bill Reynolds. Amy Kobelka. Deborah Ezop. LK. And WV Outdoorsman. So thank all of you all and all the other members uh, for choosing to become members on my channel and receiving the extra few little perks uh, for, for doing that benefit for me. Now, the other thing that I want to mention, which is actually kind of cool, uh, that's going to benefit you as well. Um, when I ordered the the boxes and all the frames from Premier uh, Bee Products this time. They also made an offer to me to let you know that by using a special promotional code, Mr. Ed 10, you would be receiving 10% off of any Premier's products that you would choose to order. And you would you would go to uh, Premier Bee premierbeeproducts.com, and I'll put that link in the, in the de description of this video. Go to that, that link, and it'll take you to Premier's website, where you can then order all the, the supplies that you need, uh, like I did, boxes, frames, and whatever else you need, uh, 
to do that. And simply enter that code, Mr. Ed 10, when you're checking out, and you will be able to redeem that extra 10% off. So thankfully, this project is done for right now, which will enable me to do my next project, putting the supers onto our hives out, out in the bee yard next week, and I am grateful for that. So that's all I got for you on this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm tired, and I'm out of here until the next video. God bless. A lot of people ask me, Mr. Ed, how do you possibly do all the work that you do at the Abbey and get all that stuff and still, still get to rest at night? Well, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. Okay, it's a big secret. It's, it's, it's not done only by me. Look at this. So we, I, get, I get these poor seminarians who don't know any better. They, they're just young guys just into the world. And I say, man, look, come on over. And we'll have an adventure. So, so this actually is a monk. This is Brother Joseph. You all have seen Brother Joseph before. And here we go, the seminarian. So tell us your name. Alex. You got to tell us your last name. Alex Jansen. Come on, what's the name? Give it up. Dakota Gates. Dakota, and where are you from, Dakota? I'm from uh, Tampa, Florida. I'm right. working hard with Mr. Jeff today. <laughs> Alex, wh where, where are you from? Fort Worth. Fort Worth, all right. Ben, oh, wait. <laughs> My name is Ben Dumwell. I'm from Mobile, where Brother Joseph is from. Okay, and we got one more. Carson Gatte from Fort Worth. Fort Worth, Dallas. Helping, Dallas helping, man. Yeah, that's right. So this is it. This is the crew that... They have taken all of these boxes that were all dead out boxes and transformed them into brand new looking boxes like this. So without these guys' help, I'd be in here and we wouldn't get all this job done. Thanks so much, guys. Thank y'all. All right, hit it! Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. Woo! All right, guys. Thank y'all. <laughs>